Wellness Wednesday, brought to you by BioStrat. Get what you need naturally. The oil which has spilled off the coast of Cove has been a headache for cleanup crews, but it's also causing a headache for residents in the areas east as well as west of the island. Since the spill on February 9th, there have been concerns about the air quality and the effect on those who live nearby. With more and more residents complaining of illnesses, we turn to Dr. Sandy Otto, the Vice President of the TNT Medical Association for advice. Dizziness, headache, nausea, vomiting, coughing, especially in those persons who may have underlying respiratory illnesses already, they may be more prone to get some of the respiratory symptoms. Some persons even experience things like chest pain. Now, these things I've just spoken about, usually are things that you will see acutely, like, you know, you're exposed and this happens. Um, but in the long term, we also have to consider things like cancers as well. But many of the symptoms can be mild and non-specific. Dr. Sandy says it is important if you live or work in the affected areas or are working on cleanup operations that you be alert and protect yourself. A lot of these gases and toxins and air pollution that comes from oil spills, oftentimes they are odorless. So sometimes you don't even know if you are, you know, inhaling something that you shouldn't. Persons involved in cleanup should be well equipped and also be mindful of the amount of time they spend in contaminated areas. It's also dependent on their capabilities physically and psychologically as well and the environment around. So what are the weather conditions like? And though disasters such as volcanic eruptions and even oil spills have been known to draw the attention of visitors as well as locals, she is urging not to let curiosity get the better of you. You know, they have some people that just want to go and see what's happening, right? If you, <laughs> you, you, you know, you, you have to be careful how you're going to interact in a setting like this. We would encourage persons not to go bathing um, in areas where they know that has been affected by the oil spill because that could lead to things like irritation of the eyes and irritation of the skin. We're going to encourage persons to avoid eating certain um, seafoods um, and generally at least for a couple months. If you are experiencing symptoms either mild or severe, Dr. Arthur says it is important to seek medical assistance and not depend on home remedies. Janelle Bernard, CNC3 News. Wellness Wednesday, brought to you by BioStrat. Get what you need naturally.